Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome to another reaction video. Today, we're reacting to banned adverts. You see, back when I uploaded the adverts uh, spe that made me speechless, I got a comment on it. And the comment was from... Sh sh I, I don't want to be butchering your name. Sh 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 Cheyenne? Shane? Shane? And she says, Baz, you should react to banned commercials. That was three days ago. Okay, going on four, actually, probably. I'm not I'm not sure when that was uh, when that actually came out. I'm not sure. But then I looked at banned adverts when I searched it in. Good old Mesh Yourself came up three days ago. Now, I'm not sort of sure if Sh Shania here watched Mesh Yourself and thought, hey, Baz should do that. But now it's just going to look like I'm copying the guy, okay? Along with my animated horrors, my no sleep, okay? I'm not copying Mesh Yourself, I promise you. We're just into the same things, it would it would seem. But either way, I don't care what you guys say, okay? We're doing this, okay? I found a little thing here. Right, so this one is called uh, Top 10 Band Ads of All Time Funny Super Bowl Commercials, okay? 2018, so this was this year. Which doesn't make sense because I've seen this advert for a couple years ago, I actually believe. So that's probably why it's got 1.1k views. I mean, likes, dislikes, shut up. Hey, dog. Anti-bark color. You want a Dorito? You gotta speak. Speak. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't think I've seen this one actually. Oh dear. Oh, this has turned a bit sexual. Oh. Why was that banned? Oh, here we go. This is. Oh, damn. Oh, dear lord. No! What, what's he just sent me? What is this? <laughs> no way! <laughs> I'm going to install that bad boy and we're going to have some fun with that. Thank you, A-Bit Ryan. That was fun. Here we go. Saying that, guys. Give me a second. I, need to... I guess I need to go on to Do Not Disturb mode. Oh god. <laughs> That's awful. If you didn't get the joke, guys, it's the joke is that wherever the crumbs were left over, the person would lick. Therefore he, he put the crumbs on his crotch area thinking that the woman would lick them. But a big fat man behind them spotted them first and is now licking his genitals. That was the joke. Okay. When are you gonna get out of here? In a while? I gotta get back. Have you now? Right in the bath? I oh. Love you, Mama. I love you too, baby. <laughs> How, why was this banned? What was that banned for? I'm thrilled to be here, Denise. Why don't we get started? Absolutely. These are not 2018 clips. These are so good. These are at least 2014. Even before that. This isn't 2018. So no one wants to play with dirty equipment. That's why you have to keep your balls clean. Yeah, I agree. The problem is, bar of soap just doesn't cut it. Yeah. See? Bar of soap on your balls, I mean, the balls doesn't work. Well, how can guys clean their balls so that they're more enjoyable to play with? Well. It's a good question. There's finally a tool that can really get the job done. The Axe Detailer. Cleans your balls. That sounds painful. <laughs> Don't kill it. <laughs> <Metal's rainbow>. <laughs> <laughs> That's not so from Kung Pao. Why is that banned? I bet that wasn't banned. It's just um, edgy. Is it just like Hi, edgy? I wonder. I wonder. Hiya, boys. Oh boy. New push-up bra. Amazing, eh? Ooh. Scottish commercial. Looking good, mum. So Iron Brew just keeps you sedated. Oh, 
come here, you. What the hell, man? Group hug? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what is this? Last night was so perfect. <laughs> Especially when you George said Ezra. you were a vegetarian too. <laughs> Why would that be a thing she brings up? Oh yeah, I love the part. I mean, the sex was all right, but the part about you being vegetarian really got my oils flowing. Uh. What? Is that a bear? Okay. That's the manliest thing I think I've ever seen. Why is the bear sharing the jacuzzi? Why can't the bear be riding the bike? Because that would be more manly. Because you've you've learned you taught a bear not only to be be nice to you, but to ride a motorbike whilst you're in a hot tub with a hot lady. Hey. Eh? Oh hello, hello hello. What's uh, going on? Nothing. Do you want to go to a party? <laughs> oh, she's obviously on a Bluetooth earpiece, isn't she? With me? Yeah. And we could just go to my place before and hang out. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Uh, hold on. Oh, uh, Why was that banned? It's, these aren't banned. Smooth. These are not banned. This guy clickbaited me. I'm not impressed. I'm really sorry about what just happened. No oh, that's cool. I feel embarrassed. Yeah, just a second. Oh, man. Oh, bitch. Get the hell away from him then. It's like someone going like right next to you and going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, You know, it'd be awesome if you come over. And they say, oh, really? He's like, oh, no, no. Sorry, I wouldn't talk to you. You would then take that to think, right, I best not talk to anyone out. I best not be near anyone else or look at anyone else in the eyes whilst I'm on this crappy little earpiece Bluetooth phone of mine. Okay. But hang on. Let me just walk over to this guy at the checkout and do exactly the same thing. I would turn around and go, just punch the bitch right in the face. I wouldn't really. Don't. I do not. I don't condone violence. Okay. I'd probably kick her in the fanny. No. <laughs> oh, what the hell? What's that? This is really laggy. That's a swear jar. Every time someone swears, you put a quarter in it. Who gets the money? I don't know. We'll use it to buy something for the office, like a case of Bud Light or something. A case of Bud Light. Awesome. And we're gonna f some. <laughs> we're gonna. F <laughs> <laughs> Top ten most controversial UK TV ads. But they so they weren't banned. They can't. To be fair, I don't think we've been looking at banned adverts. We've just been looking at edgy content. So crude, generally tasteless, or offensive. Okay. Guys. <laughs> Tom, what is that? Nothing. Tom, have you got the pot noodle horn? Of course not. Let me see. See it. Get off, you maniac. <laughs> That's great. Pot noodles are amazing. Holy crap, is that what pot noodles look? Jesus Christ, they look old. Little girl phones for you. Viewers believe this advert to be offensive, irresponsible, and unduly distressing. I think I watched this in 659 complaints. Holy crap. Yeah, we watched this in the last advert uh, video of that. Dog breath. Wrigley's excites. Complaints 700 plus. Parents complained the ad was graphic, frightened their children, and made them feel sick. Okay. This is fun. Jesus. I don't remember these adverts. Holy crap! He just puked out a dog. People really getting offensive over that. There's nothing bad with that. That was really well edited. Hooked. Department of Health 2007 complaint 774. Viewers complained that ad was offensive, frightening, and distressing, particularly to children. Fine. Brilliant. All right. I'll see you on the uh, on the ninth. Okay. Bye. What's up with his mouth? It's like Ali A's. Really tiny. Oh my god! The average smoker needs over 5,000 cigarettes Holy a year. Holy crap! That's actually really good! Get unhooked. Oh man, why were people so... I mean, it's even worse if you think about it today. People are extremely offended.
over stupid crap. Social justice warriors are ruining this planet. I'm just going to say it now. Break the cycle. Bernardo's 2008 complaints. 840 reason. Viewers found that ad upsetting and not suitable for children who would be watching. People actually... Someone being beaten up. Is that a baby? Oh my god. Holy crap, man. Let you out again if they, you <laughs> worthless little cow. Come on in. I can't read. Check the switch. I, I don't know what it says, alright? You okay? Here, here, 20 quid. Run, you little money! Run! <laughs> you worthless little cow. <laughs> alright, mate, can we stop slapping on the back of her head, please? I don't know what it says. Here, 20 quid. Oh my god. For thousands of children in the UK, the story will keep repeating itself until someone stops it. Oh my god. I can I can understand why people got upset over that. I mean, but I think that I think things like that really nail home what they're trying to do. If it really offends you, then do something about it, you know? I think that's what the advert was meant to be doing. Because complaining about it is kind of like saying, I don't want to see that advert on the TV anymore, which pretty much eliminates the whole reason of the ad, you know, to bring awareness to things like that. You're just basically saying, I don't want to look at that. It doesn't make me feel good. I'd rather look at something else, if that makes sense. Okay, bedtime story, act on CO2. 840, misleading and scaremongering, exaggerating the likelihood and impact of extreme weather conditions. Oh, God. There was once a land where the weather was very, very strange. There were awful heat waves in some parts. Oh, my God, this guy's voice. Others, terrible storms and floods. Scientists said it was being caused by too much CO2, which went up into the sky when the grown-ups used energy. Oh. They said the CO2 was getting dangerous. Its effects were happening faster than this they is, thought. This is pretty much scaremongering. Some places could even disappear under the sea. And it was the children of the land who'd have to live with the horrible consequences. Oh my god. The grown-ups realised they had to do something. They discovered that over 40% of the CO2 was coming from ordinary everyday things like keeping houses warm and driving cars. Which meant if they made less CO2, maybe they could save the land for the children. Wow. Is there a happy ending? Aww. Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> you can't do that. No, that's not fair. Viewers suggested that this advert promoted abortion. Jesus Christ, here we go then. Welcome to demonetization. Jenny Evans is late. By late, I'm guessing she means, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna say it out loud. Kate Simmons is late. Yeah, but she's got kids, so surely what? Hmm. If you're late for your period, you could be pregnant. If you're pregnant and not sure what to do, Mari Stopes International can help. How is that promoting freaking abortion? It's just saying we're giving advice on what to do if you would like or wouldn't like a child, basically. Oh my god. The people really annoy me, man. I don't understand how you could extrapolate abortion from that. It's so stupid. Paddy Power. Complaints 1313. Reason. Viewers complained the ad was offensive to blind people and could promote animal cruelty. Is that the animal cruelty bit? Alright. Paddy Power can't get to his back. Okay, so the, the ball had a ball in it, and obviously the kitten came on. Check him out before you bet. Look, he's fine. Kitty's fine. You didn't see someone literally hitting a cat, so what's the big deal? Mouthful KFC complaints, the most complained about advert of all time. All time, 1,671 complaints. <laughs> Yo, that's a terrible theme, boys. How sensitive are people 
to complain about that? What is wrong with you guys? What is wrong with you guys? Come on, man. That was no, it was just a bit of fun. I understand, like, you, yeah, you wouldn't want you. But just say it to your kid. No, listen. Don't speak with your mouth full. With your mouth full. Yeah, it's rude, okay? The people on the advert are rude. There we go. Simple as that. Done. Okay? Are you, the TV isn't raising your children. You are, you f there we go, guys. That was um, banned slash controversial co um, adverts. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to smash like. Let's go for 7 million likes. Uh, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.